You know what I like to do when I'm at a dead guy's house? I like to look at his baseball cards. You know, today. <laughs> That was Dave from Legends of the Dugout here on YouTube doing my opening. And if you don't know what he was joking around about, recently on uh, a live that was done, Jeremy Lee uh, misinterpreted a Bob Boozle joke and thought that I passed away and, or that I might have, and was uh, issuing condolences to my family. <laughs> So I've been getting a lot of jokes that I passed away and I'll text with people and uh, I'll tell them it's my ghost uh, reaching out to them. But it was uh, great. Uh, Dave and his son Grayson came by. His daughter is, is here. Um, so he's in town uh, for his daughter. Uh, she has an, uh, an event and he had a little free time. Uh, so he came up and brought his son Grayson and we looked at some baseball cards. But Grayson's not uh, not really into sports cards. He's into Pokemon cards. So, you know, he did what... Uh, how all kids entertain themselves from 1 to 24 these days. And uh, he laid on my beanbag and... Played on his phone while Dave and I went from room to room looking at some baseball cards. <laughs> Dave brought me uh, a gift. A Roberto Clemente card from Puerto Rico. So we had a good time. You know, when uh, when people come over and look through my cards and I'm digging them all up and, and showing them, I feel like Whoopi Goldberg from, ironically, the movie Ghost. When she would let the ghosts enter her body and then they would leave, uh, she would just be wiped out. And, you know, pulling out all the boxes and, and going through the closets and everything, it, 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 it's so, it, it's exhausting. Uh, after a while, we, we, we spent a good bit of time and I went through a lot of boxes. Now, Dave is only the third YouTuber ever uh, to, to see my collection in person. Uh, the, the other two were, the first one was Lou Rock and then uh, Don from Field of Dreams Cards. And uh, Dave was uh, really interested in seeing everything because I always joked with uh, Lou that he barely even, he just looked around. He didn't even get into any boxes or anything. So he looked at seven times more cards than, than those two. <laughs> uh, but it's always fun to look at some baseball cards uh, with a fellow YouTuber, fellow collector. I just wanted to show you a few things, a few random things. Something I think you'll find uh, very interesting. Uh, something significant in baseball and baseball card history. But first, before I show you that, I, I wanted to just show you a card that I always felt was a very significant card. And that's the 1962 Roger Maris. Because I often think, and some of you may be old enough to remember, um, you might remember this personally, but I often wonder how excited kids must have been when they released these cards in 1962 to chase the Roger Maris after that great 1961 season of his. And so for that reason, this is kind of a special card to me. It's always been a special card. Because I can't imagine being a kid in 1962. Uh, you know, this would have been the card you were chasing, right? And this card is incredibly difficult to find centered. But it's a beautiful card, and I think a significant one in baseball card history. I wanted to show you this. This is a 1922 William Pedersen. These were issued out of Canada and they're very rare. I went on to PSA's website right before this just to check uh, the pop reports on them to get an idea of how many are out there. Uh, PSA has graded a total of two of these. So they're pretty rare. If you look at the other ones, uh, they're all in the low pops, all like one, two, in that range. I'm sure the big stars may have a few more um, because, you know, if you have uh, one of the greatest players, most people send them in for grading these days. And a lot of the secondary players, uh, you know, a lot of times they won't. But anyway, this is Joe uh, 
Eschker. It's pronounced Eschker when you see the spelling here. Now he has a significant place in baseball history. He's the only pitcher in history to throw 20 or more innings, to pitch 20 or more innings twice. And one of those games was, I believe it was May 1st, 1920. It was the longest game in baseball history. And he pitched for the Boston Braves, and the other team was the Brooklyn Robins. And he pitched 26 innings in the longest game in Major League Baseball history. And I'm not sure if he has any other cards. Of course, all the cards issued out of Canada, at least all the baseball cards, in the vintage days, they're all rare. All of them. Because baseball wasn't that popular up there. Now, there's a fellow YouTuber, and I don't want to give anything away. But keep an eye out for it. Who got a special one of these? A special player. And, uh, of course, they're very rare. And it's uh, another guy who likes to collect rare cards. But I'm not going to give anything away. But keep your eye out for that one. So I just wanted to share that with you. I don't hear anybody talk about this guy. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you weren't familiar with that. So I wanted to share it. And then I, I wanted to just tell you this. I'll make this PSA. Not a grading company, but a public service announcement. You know, I've been showing my MagPro holders. And I've been using the PSA Superior Fit sleeves for them. And they're a little, uh, just a little oversized. They're not perfect fit, but they do the trick. But I was ordering some other products from Superior Fit Innovations. And on the left-hand side of the menu, I saw they're now selling the perfect fit for these. I knew they would be coming eventually. Uh, so I ordered some up. So any of you that use these, if you're looking for perfect fit sleeves, you can now order them. So I want to do share that with you. And uh, also, you know, I use the, I love these superior fit sleeves, but the shells are just as good. The shells are just as good. And you can find those, I don't know, I order mine on eBay. But those have to be the two best because uh, I, I tried the cardboard gold and man, if you hold them up next to each other, they're cloudy and they dull the card a little bit. You know, I, I, I switched over, I was using those penny sleeves that have the, the kind of the, the lip um, so that they don't damage corners. And they're the same way, they're a little cloudy and I regret buying so many of them. Uh, you know, I'm, they're okay on black and white cards or doll cards, but I don't like to put uh, shiny cards in them. And uh, same with those cardboard gold sleeves. So I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to doll my cards. You know, if they have a vibrant color, I, I, I want to keep it that way. So I just thought I'd share that. I know a lot of people love those cardboard gold sleeves with the PSA at the bottom. Not me, man. I can't wait to get rid of those. I hate when I get a card in those things. <laughs> I got PSA all over over the card. You know, you got PSA on the front, PSA on the back. I don't need PSA down here either. And uh, man, I pulled this out because I hate the way they slab these. And I don't know if I should get it re-slabbed or just crack it out of here. You know, I don't know. But I pulled this aside because I hate it. I, I actually have to look at it backwards. I hate that they slab these this way. I understand they're, they're slabbing them the other way now. And while I'm on that topic, I might as well show you this. I have um, two uncut sheets of these. Now, many people store these in a roll because they come in a roll. But I have two uncut sheets. Um, one, I guess the key player on would probably be Sandy Koufax. And the other one, the key player would be Mickey Mantle. Let's go by here. Whoop. They had uh, team T 
team ones. They're both in fantastic condition. Uh, you know, I got this holder. So what this is, is this is a big uncut sheet. Uncut, when you have uh, tops uncut sheets, they make those giant holders. I got one of those uh, because I couldn't find anything to store this in. And I didn't want to store them all rolled up because I like to look at my stuff. Uh, and I just cut the bottom off of it. That's all, <laughs> that's all I did. So I keep it back here. So, hey, that's what I have for you. Thanks for hanging out with me. And Dave, it's great hanging out with you and great meeting Grayson. Thanks for watching.